How would you describe that eighth inning first with Hamilton and Wells able to work out of some bases, loaded jams, holding them to one run, and then the young hitters putting hits together to take the lead? Yeah, it was yeah, it was really good to see that kind of an inning. Um, you know, Hamilton had Rivera, you know, first two really executed a couple couple pitches down to Rivera and he puts the ball in the corner on him. Then you're second and third and they got Marte sitting over there and you're like, man, you know, so kind of debates, do you walk them? But then you definitely bring in Carroll into the mix. Um, and, uh, you know, it's big that <clears throat> Pereira gets the ball that Carroll hits, who hits it really hard the other way to, you know, keep it at one run there, which was big. And then, you know, he buckled down, big pitches to get out of it. But then the at-bats, you know, that following inning, you know, um, Obviously, Glaber and, and, and Austin getting it going. Volpe having a good walk, work in the walk. Peraza laying off some tough pitches. And Ginkle ain't no joke. You know, that's, you know, he's he's tough. And uh, Flo being able to get into one enough to get a sack fly. And then it was really good to see Everson come up with, I thought he had some really good swings today. Um, I thought he was, you know, in the zone for a while. And, you know, the the ability to first get ahead, to have the discipline to lay off pitches, but then not get too passive also. Got a pitch 2-0, smoked it up the middle. So really good, fun inning to see these guys execute like that. What are your thoughts from Austin Wells on both sides of the ball today? Yeah, I thought he was outstanding behind the plate. Um, I thought he had a good throw on the one, the Walker stolen base where he kind of left early, got a great break. Um, still made it close there. I thought he did a good job with all the pitchers today back there. I thought he blocked well on obviously not the funnest day to play in, you know, where it's cold and drizzling sideways on you a little bit and it's windy. And I would imagine even stuff-wise, pitcher stuff was a little bit different throughout the day. Um, and then obviously some really good at-bats. The big homer to get us back in sets the table there for us in the first inning. Um, you know, where DJ and Aaron get on the get on base, and we're about we got uh, <clears throat> we got uh, Kelly Kelly on the ropes there, and he scalds one, but just one hopper right a second. You're like, man, and then uh, but just really good at bats, exciting day, exciting to see our young guys really have an impact in you know, in a game <laughs> where you know, obviously the Diamondbacks are playing for a lot. Were you contending with the amount of mound visits they had remaining in the eighth? What did the umpires tell you there? No, oh. no, no, no. Um, he didn't have his, I was contending with he didn't have his um, pitch com, so they had to go to the bench to get it, which should have counted as another, and he picked the second one, so it should have counted as another one. So they said he had it and was just, it didn't work, which is different. I, I don't think he had it. Andy, they said uh, Wells, Peraza, um, and Pereira too, good at bats. Uh, how, how now that you've had some sample size in this month, do you rate the overall quality of the bats you've seen from those three young players? I know Pereira was hurt for a while. Uh, getting better, uh, really in all their cases. You know, when Peraza came back up the last time, you know, was struggling there for a little bit. He's been getting some traction going lately. You know, started to get some hits, started to get some results, not necessarily scalding it, and then lately starting to hit the ball now. I mean, that ball he hit the left center, that's 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 a big boy. I mean, that's 110 into the bleachers with what was going on out there today. Um, that was impressive. But then equally impressive, the, the walk off of Ginkle there in that situation um, was really exciting too. So... Um, and then Wells, I feel like, has gotten, you know, better and better as we've gone. And, and today you see, like, you know, why you get excited of him, about him as a hitter, you know, that just kind of that level of that bat that he was putting together today. Um, so hopefully, you know, we got another week to go or whatever days to go, you know, hopefully they continue to build on that and finish with a flurry.